push you, Mike? I'm working on it. Fiona Birch, alias Fiona Nielsen, born London, England, 1978. Wanted for murder in Spain, Brazil, and the United States. And Harry, you're gonna like this. It said that she was kidnapped from her parents when she was... She was 12 years old. Adam M likes to start them young. I'm in the lobby. Take the VIP elevator up to the 12th floor. He's in 1238. Hey guys. What took so long? Nobody serves takeaway around here. Cappuccino, right? Here you go, Mike. Hey, why don't you cut him some slack? He's new on the job. Be a good agent, Jack. You need to think fast. Shouldn't take you 20 minutes to get a cup of coffee. Sorry, sir. Won't happen again. So why don't we just arrest her? The point is to let her escape so she brings us to Madame M. technique. What technique? You know, like Mata Hari. She used her incredible body to either get the secrets from the enemy or... Or what? Or she'd kill you. I'm take your little picnic outside, Jack. Oh, sorry, Mike. You got anything else to eat? I think I need a sandwich, Jack. Now? Yes, now.
May I join you? You're an amazing fighter. Would you like to have this? It's yours if you want it. Go ahead and choose whatever you like. I can take you to where all the best fighters go. You can become one of them. Do you want to come with me? October 11th, another girl has been reported missing, bringing the total to 40. Their ages are all around 13 years of age. Although their nationalities and family backgrounds vary, it is interesting to note that each of these girls excels in either martial arts or sport. Ever since the Rome incident, Madame M and her organization have not resurfaced. In the meantime, little girls are disappearing all over the globe. Could it be... One female assassin dead, and dozens more being trained to take her place? If that's the case, I'm afraid these girls will be scarred for life and can never be helped. your sisters. I want to go home. I want my mommy. For the time being, you can think of me as your mommy. You're not my mommy. You can't tell me what to do. You really want to go? Yes. I don't like it here, and I don't like you. All right. You can go now. Go. I would love to officially welcome to a brand new world. Here, every exercise, every meal, and every class will be with one thing in mind, to create a team of world-class fighters. Is that clear? Yes, sir! We are 200 miles away from the nearest island, and if you try to run away, you'll be shot. Any questions? No, sir! came in with me today, right? Yeah. My name's Charlene. What's yours? Catherine. I like the name Catherine. Thank you. Everybody, come! Come on! I say we go now. Tonight. As soon as they turn the lights out. 
There's only one guard in the tower and one on the pier. If we can just get to that side of the bay before they see us, there's a boat we can use to make our escape. We'll have to row, but it's our only chance. I've seen that boat. We can't all fit in it. I didn't think everyone here had the guts to go. All right, so who's in? Raise your hand if you want to go. What are you doing? I want to go with them. You won't make it. nervous system and the delivery of electric pulses from the brain to the rest of the body depends almost entirely on your skeletal network and in particular the spinal column. Remember what I said about detaching the C5 vertebrae? It cuts the nerve cortex, instantly paralyzing your victim. Death by suffocation normally follows. to work with the elements. I don't care if you're wet or if you're freezing. Your environment is your friend. 
your only friend. So nice. I was sitting at the bottom of the ocean, Cat. It was so peaceful. Have you ever thought that we'd have to kill someone we don't even know? I don't dare to. It's not up to you. This is our fate together. We can't run from it. I know I can't do it. Well, we'll make a lot of money for a lie from here. We're gonna have to do it. Come on, let's go. of enemy soldiers. They're all armed and scattered in the woods, ready to attack. They will show no mercy. So don't hesitate or you'll die in a split second. Good luck, ladies. from the very beginning what this is all about. And eventually we would have to kill. Just an experiment to her. That's all. Survival of the fittest. Everything we're learning here, it's what we're gonna need out there. I know that, but today, today just makes me feel worse about everything. Forget about today. Think about our future. That's what I used to do as a kid. The madam showed up and saved me. You were awesome out there, hanging upside down from that tree and shit. Snap! Man, you should teach me that sometime. Here, let me help you. Hey, you're tense. You should relax a bit. If there's anything, just ask. I can help you. Tried to sneak up on me, but I was waiting for that shit. Man, it felt so good to kill him. Hello? When I first came here, I had a boyfriend back home. We used to ride our bikes every day after school. 
My first memories were cleaning up around the boxing ring. Trying to stay away from the men who come in and bet their salaries on the day's fights. You and I are so different, Kat. And yet I can't imagine my life without you. Listen up. Here is your assignment. Kill the nearest girl and bring her body outside. Anyone who isn't outside in two minutes will be shot. Wait, this is so stupid. Why are we killing each other? There's ten guys waiting outside with M16s. Well, if we refuse, there's no way she can kill us all. There isn't time for this. We have our orders. Congratulations, ladies. You are the survivors. You show your courage and your strength in every imaginable situation. Take a good look around you. These girls are not your friends anymore. Only one of you will survive tomorrow's exercise. Who will that be? Get some sleep, ladies. Tomorrow is graduation day for one of you. was bullshit from day one. I was wondering when it would come to this. Tomorrow is just another exercise. That's it. Kat, if we have to face each other, promise me you won't hold back. Get some rest. Today is the day one of you will earn the right to survive. Some of you may feel that I have treated you unfairly. In fact, I'm afraid that I might have protected you too much from the harsh reality of the world outside. All of you will soon be given a number. Girl number one enters the cage first. She faces girl number two in a fight to the death. The survivor must then face two more girls, numbers three and four. The winner then faces three more girls, numbers five to seven. But that's not fair! That's right. Life isn't fair. You're sending us to our death. Maybe. But an assassin knows the path to your own mortality is only a footstep away. What if girl number one survives the first three rounds? If she survives, she'll have to fight the last four girls, one on four. The fighting is over when only one of you remains. Behind you is a box containing numbers. Choose one and accept your fate. I don't want to 
out of here. I don't want to die. You have no choice. All you can choose is your weapon. Oh, look, we're in the same group. We can be like a team. I watch your back, you watch mine. It's a win-win situation. From the moment I realized I was an orphan, I knew I didn't have future. Charlene, if I die in this cage tonight, you have to remember me. only one rule inside the cage. No matter what method you use to kill your opponent, you cannot live, you cannot surrender. You have no friends, no support. All you can believe in is yourself. Today you fight until you die, or until you are the last survivor. It's all very simple, ladies. Live or die. Do not disappoint me. We've been friends for six years. I don't want to kill you. understand survival of the fittest and the need to eliminate the weak. the both of us. Don't quit on me. If we join forces, we'll be invincible. Nobody can touch us. I am invincible.
chance. girls what a terrific performance you have exceeded my expectations I have decided to break my own rules and keep all three of you I'm glad we can finally sit down and have dinner together. Let's do this more often in the future. To be honest with you, ladies, I'm still in shock about the other day. It was never my plan to keep three of you. But I'm glad I did. Let's have a drink. Cheers. Jane, taste your wine and tell me the year and the label. Petrus, 1971. Cat, mm. yours? Vega Sicilia, 1985. Mm. Good. Charlene? It's table wine. Very good. You ladies know your wine. In a month, you'll leave here with new identities. You'll be making more than a million dollars a year. Soon, you'll become three of the most wanted women in this world. In five years, our contracts will be over. You can stay working for me, or you can go free. Are you okay? I feel weak. She poisoned us. No, I've only given you a mild sedative to help you relax. After today, your body no longer belongs to you. It is now your greatest weapon. You must be willing to do anything to please a man, no matter how vile. Because a man's happiest moment is also his weakest.
Do you know why you're here? To please you. You're a most unusual young woman. I'm glad you think so. I'm sure my cousin thought the same thing. Before you killed him. Thank mm -hmm. you.
based on the markings surrounding the fractured vertebrae, the coroner seems to think that he was killed by a woman. One of my first assignments was following a suspect named Madeline Ho, AKA Madam M. Whoever did this ruptured the central nerve with her bare hands. It's been six years since I've seen a body like this. Jack, there's something else you should know. The coroner found a blood sample on the body which doesn't belong to the victim. Run a DNA check and send the results over to missing persons. If my hunch is correct, Madam M has decided to come out of her home. Charlene Ching, all these years you've been missing, what has happened to you? You must be a different person now. But how much have you really changed? Please, Goddess Tin Hao. Bless my only daughter, Charlene. I hope she has found peace and joy in this world. Back again? How are you? Don't worry. The prayers will be heard. Goddess Tinha will send her blessings to you and your daughter. I pray it is Tinha's wish for me to see my daughter again. Excuse me. Ms. Ching? Jack Chen, CIA. What can I do for you? I came to ask you a few questions about your daughter. Did you find her? Please tell me that she's still alive. There's been a series of murders throughout Europe. We think the killer is a professional assassin. DNA tests point to your daughter as the killer. That's impossible. How could my daughter have become a killer? Six years ago, 40 girls disappeared at about the same time. They're all trained to be professional assassins. We think Charlene was one of them. My God. There's a good chance your daughter may either be in Hong Kong or on her way here. If that's the case, she may try and contact you. I hope I can count on your cooperation. You can't imagine the pain mother feels when she loses her child. I put all that pain and guilt behind me. I'm sorry to put you through all this, but my job is to find a murderer, and that's what I intend to do. Mr. Chen, even if my daughter is a killer, what makes you think I would help you arrest her?
answering. I thought I asked you to leave me alone. I want to help your daughter. I have to find her first. I should contact you in the past few days. Jack, first you tell me my daughter is a professional killer. Now you think I'm hiding her from the law? Please, excuse me. I've been on this case for six years. How can I not follow you? That's your problem, mister. Not mine. No. This is your problem. Do you recognize her? Do you, Charlene? I'm arresting you because I want to help you. How can you shoot someone in front of your mother? Do you think she actually forgot you? Don't you have any feelings at all? Do you want to live a normal life? I'm afraid you've got the wrong person. Charlene is dead. We're stuck here, and it's cold. And to be honest, I don't know how much longer I can keep my arm up. I knew you wouldn't kill me. Not that I can't. I won't. I'm a federal agent. I'm here to arrest you. Are you okay? Here. Take my coat. I've been looking for a lot of girls who've disappeared. Just like yourself. Can you tell me where you've been the past few years? Or at least who's running the operation? Forget it. I knew you wouldn't tell me. But I'll find out. I'll find out by myself. I never give up. Are you sure you don't want your jacket? You look cold. Don't worry about me. I'm not cold. I'm a man. What? 
It's so funny. The metabolism of men runs 15% faster than women. So technically, men are more resistant to the cold than women. I don't know about you, but I'm freezing. Come here. We stand a better chance if we do like the Eskimos and conserve our body heat. It's 538A5. Despite lack of cooperation from the local branch, my investigation continues to progress. I'm here watching the mother of one of the China doll assassins. Hopefully, I wrap things up before anyone else gets killed. For the moment, my only lead is Charlene Ching. I believe Charlene was... was she said the most amazing thing to me in that ice cream truck. She's lucky I gave her my jacket. Even if I have to do it on my own, I will solve this case. Jack Chen, Agent 75394, signing out. While officially on sick leave in Hong Kong. Mommy, once I'm all grown up and well trained in martial arts, I'll protect you and beat up all the bad guys.
Baker and get out of here. Use your gun. I'm here to visit my mother. Why would I have a gun? Where's your gun? I dropped it. Jack Chen? That's me. Please, Jack, don't arrest my daughter. I promise you, Miss Ching, I won't. Thank you. Even if someday you do have to take me in. Jack, is that your name? That's right. I don't lie about my identity like some other people. I've known about you for the past six years, Charlene. Look out! Thanks. I'm just confused. I don't know anymore. I mean, I don't know if I'm here for professional or personal reasons. Charity, I think. Goodness of your own heart. Don't worry. Your mom will be fine. You really are a good guy. What's the matter? The last time you said that, you hit me with your gun. Here. I know you'll be back for her. And when you do, I'm going to be here to... I know, Jack. I know. your mom. They'll kill you both. Trust me, Kat. I know when to give life. And I know when to take it. I'll make a deal with you. Finish this one last job. We'll consider our contract over. Besides, you wouldn't want any more harm to come to your mother, would you? All right, I'll take it. That's my girl.
Welcome, madam. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Ryuichi. You know the terms? As you require. 10% in crisp and mark bills. There is a traitor who was in my organization. His name is Kenji. You know what I want. The thing is, I would like to watch as he dies. If you watch, it's more work, more money. No one changes the view on me. Not now, not ever. All right. Since you have the balls to ask for more money, I know you won't fail. Your greed will not allow it. Ryuichi is meeting Kenji tonight at a local disco. Your job is to kill Kenji before he escapes. I'll be outside waiting in case you need backup. drives all the assassins. It's what brings you here tonight. My friend Carlos was killed by a dancing female assassin. Do you have any idea how lonely I get without him? Huh? I bring you here because I want you to suffer as I know he suffered. Ladies, welcome to my Nirvana. to be feeling warm and happy. Hmm? <laughs> Hurry! You'll come for your friend. We'll see you at Pier Porti. Who is this? Charlene, where are you? It's me, Jack. Are you okay? What's wrong with you? Stop. What is going on? What's wrong with you? I was drugged. Some 
We need to calm down. and her giant dolls. Not take advantage of a young, beautiful girl. Not like this. I could arrest her. But no. What am I saying? I'm such an idiot. Jack. I just want you to know that Actually, I'm quite traditional. I just want you to know it's okay. Dear Jack, if I could live my life over again, I would love to be a normal girl and have a normal life. But I accepted my fate a long time ago. What I am prevents me from being a responsible daughter, so please, watch over my mother until she gets well. Maybe one day fate will smile upon us and we'll see each other again. Charlene. Every time. When I can reach out and almost touch you, you disappear. Figure out how to play with my China dolls. B 
be nice if you girls came with the instructions, you know? <laughs> Stop it! God! Please, kill me. But we made a promise, Kat! That we'd always stay together! Our time is in next life. Okay. It's time to say goodbye to your friend. Bye-bye. No! <laughs> okay. Ten seconds. I love you, Charlie. <laughs> and I will always be with you. Always. Settle the score. Using more primitive weapons.
beat up now. You can't even see anymore. I'm afraid our little duel is just about over. I have one chance left. Will my strength fail me? Focus. Focus on one thing. And everything. Feel the vibrations. Follow the energy. Visualize the stillness of water. And let your heart become water. Become water. Tomorrow, I have to go back to the States. Whenever you have time, please come and visit. I'd like that. You think this is just superstitious nonsense, don't you? No. I was just thinking. The Chinese have such strong beliefs. You know, I never really had a religion. But somehow this place makes me feel... peaceful. If you like, you can make a wish. Perhaps it will come true. Really? Try it. What have you got to lose? Please let Kat be filled with joy and happiness and let her know that I miss her very much. And please make sure that certain someone, the guy I told you about, I wish the woman I love is, safe is happy and safe. And I pray that someday I'll be able to tell her how much I care for her. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Very strange. A woman was here earlier. She has the same 
fortune. Was she looking for someone? Yes. She said she was looking for a man she met in a refrigerator. Refrigerator? No, ice cream truck. Where is she? She just left. Thanks. Call me superstitious, but sometimes I think I can feel Charlene's presence. It's as if we're heading off in the same direction, sharing the same orbit. If we both stay on this path and don't stray, we'll see each other again someday. I can only hope that day is sometime very soon.